Good morning, everybody. This is Monday. Moment of destiny with Pastor Ade, but um, it will come in your way. This is Monday, the first working day of the week. And the last week in the month of May. Let's go ahead and give him thanks that God kept me and you alive. That you saw this week and you can see the events of this month. Both globally and all over the whole place, you see how the enemy has been doing all manner of things, but in the midst of that, God has preserved you. That is an evidence of his mercy and that of his loving kindness. Father, let's, we thank you. Join me to bless the name of the Lord and appreciate him for what he's done for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh, I want to, we've been talking about destiny and you cannot talk about destiny without an open heaven. Now we saw in Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, uh, from verse 1, he said, it came to pass in the 13th year, fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, and he said, I was among the captives by the river of Sheba, and the heavens was open, and I saw the visions of God. The heavens was open, and I saw the visions of God. You cannot see the visions of God, which is the plan of God for your destiny, without an open heaven. Everybody has an open heaven or a closed heaven. Remember when the Bible says, uh, the heaven, he said in first, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, he said, he was talking about, if my people that call by my name won't put themselves and pray, he says, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. And when the heaven is shut, so heaven can be shut, heaven can be closed. When your heaven is open, you'll be seeing visions of God. You'll be going into the plans of the Father. And you cannot talk about open heaven without prayers. And the Bible says here in Luke chapter 3, verse 22, we're talking about Jesus was being baptized. Luke 3, 21 to 22. When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. Why he prayed, the heavens was opened and the Holy Spirit descended in a bodily form upon him. And the voice from heaven came, said, this is my beloved one and well pleased. Jesus prayed and the heavens was opened and the Holy Spirit followed and the voice followed. You can see these are all the things we need in our life. Not only visions but direction and the key to that is praying and Jesus praying the heavens was open. So you must learn how to pray if you want to see an open heaven. You must learn how to pray if you want to come into visions. You must learn how to pray Elijah had to pray before he saw the visions of God. And that is what I want to encourage you in this time, in this season, you must learn how to pray create time for your personal time to pray. And that is what I want to bring to you this morning. As we have come to the end of this month, of, of this week, it is time to pray, to keep an open heaven. If prayer open the heaven, you need to keep praying for that heaven to remain open. And that is why we are receiving grace this morning. Grace to pray. Grace for supplication. Grace for prayer and supplication. Receive that grace right now in Jesus' name. I pray for you today that the heavens over your life will not be shut. I pray for you today that the oil of prayer will not drown your head. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are beginning to pray right now, begin to pray right now and say, Lord, give me grace. Jesus praying, the heavens was open. Heaven was not just open because it was Jesus. Heaven was open because he prayed. Even in Matthew 17 from 1 to 5, he took them to the high mountain and while he was praying, he was transfigured. Heavens open. Let's pray right now. Lord, give me grace to pray, oh Lord. Deliver me from the spirit of prayerlessness in this season. Lord, help me to pray. Lord, help me to pray so I will not be a prey to the problems of life. Help me to pray. Oh Lord, help me that my heavens will open in the name of Jesus. Help me to pray. Anoint me with with the spirit of grace and supplication in this season, in this last week of the month of May, so that I can come into your in come into visions and come into directions and come into visible touch of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost descend on him bodily. 
that is visibility the holy ghost coming upon me lord i pray as i pray grace to pray till the heavens open grace to pray till i'm clothed with the holy ghost grace to pray till direction come give me that grace give me that grace thank you lord in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen and if you are there you are not born again how will god answer the prayer because the prayer will not go anywhere but if you are not born again, take this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Today I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please help me share this message with somebody. Let somebody be blessed by this broadcast this morning. That God will, that your place of prayer is your place of encounter. You anoint your life through your prayer life. And there's different, there's difference in a man that is trained for something and a man that's anointed for something. And that anointing comes by prayer. So let me share this message with somebody. Share with somebody at least about 10 people. Help me bless somebody today with this broadcast. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow on this platform moment of destiny that place of encounter god bless you if you need prayer and counseling call me on the number 07950 we are within london if you are in the u.s code number 240 2929129 god bless you look forward to see you tomorrow as we share this message bye bye everybody bye bye